We're trying every item in the December 2022 Keto Crate right after this. Hey guys, welcome to the December 2022 edition of Smash the Crate, the monthly series where I, along with my husband and my mother, try every item in this month's Keto Crate. Don't forget, while supplies last, Keto Crate is doing a BOGO, a buy one crate, get one crate free. Click the link in the description box below to get the BOGO special for Christmas. Hashtag asterisk while supplies last, right? Okay, but I tell you what supplies we got right now is all these items that's in the keto crate that we're about to get to, okay? So, starting off. They're not gonna last long. Yeah, these are not gonna last long. Okay, starting off, Southern Recipe Small Batch Pork Rinds. This is the spicy dill flavor. I'm not a fan, no, no, I'm not a fan. Yeah, one of us does, and that's my husband. Oh, I'm not a fan of the spicy dill flavor, but you know. All right. well, you do like spicy though. I do like spicy. Uh, and don't get me wrong, I love dill or... pickles. Like I love dill, like pickles are the only things flavored in dill that I actually like and ranch dressing. But like, yes, no, not true. this. Okay, let's go. Oh, It's so sour. Mm. A lot of dill in there. Mm. A lot of dill in here. So vinegary, like, mm-mm. Mm-hmm. No. Oh, tier four. Mm-mm. I'm here for that. It just needs to be paired with like lunch meat or like some cold cuts. Okay, something savory. Like cold cut, like roll, look like Ooh. turkey, turkey ham and cheese roll or something like I that. I don't like no, it. No, 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 no. Sorry. I'll go no. two. Mm. I just don't like the flavor. Yeah, I don't like the flavor. I love Southern Recipe Small Batch Pork yes. Rinds, but that particular flavor is just not my favorite, right? right? It's the flavor. It's all about the, the pairing. Flavor. Yeah, so while we're talking, let's talk about our, our rating system, our tier system. It goes from first to worst. So tier one is... I like this thing, I love it. I have bought it with my own money or I would buy it with my own money because it tastes so good. Tier two is, you know what? I really like this. I probably, I, mean, I wouldn't say I would buy it, but if it came for free in a keto crate or I got it somewhere else, I would be happy to see it. Tier three is, hmm, don't love it. Don't hate it enough to like throw it away. Like if somebody gave it to me for free, I would accept it, but maybe it'd go in the back of the snack drawer. And then tier four is, I don't like this. I don't like the way this tastes. I would not accept it even if given for free. I don't like that. And so unfortunately for me, those the spicy dill is a tier four. Yes. I don't mm. like that. Just because of the flavor. Yes, it's of course. a tier two because it's not intended to be eaten alone. Yeah, it's thing. not intended yeah. to be so, eaten alone. It doesn't say right. on there, pair yeah. with your favorite lunch meat. Well, no. That's a, 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 a kick in your teeth No, uh-uh. So, needs to be tamping down. and then once again, we always say, just because we don't prefer the flavor of something, like we'll never objectively say like, this is nasty, you know, or like, I don't like this. Yeah. It's, I don't prefer this. If yeah. you like these sort of things, maybe you would mm -hmm. like this. Honestly, if you like, dill flavored things you that. would like that yes, i just don't like it you know, oh okay like salt and vinegar yeah like uh, yep don't a, like that don't like the vinegary for me as well. okay moving on shrewd food protein uh protein croutons oh, i was gonna come yeah. crotons protons um so i know right these are zesty uh oh. <laughs> parmesan herb yeah you're right i can't open them so these are just protein uh, puff balls yes. that you could use as croutons. Oh my God, look how large they are. That's look at the big said. balls. That's oh my God. Said. Okay, I'll take another. I'll take one of your balls. There you go. Okay, there I'll take go. one of your balls too. All right, now we got two balls. I'm waiting all day for these. Okay, systems. let's go. Mmm. Mmm. Just like a crouton. Yeah, yeah. I would say they passed the test. Yeah, so for me, these get a tier two because the immediate flavor is crouton. Mm -hmm. But then like, once again, protein puffs don't disintegrate. So it's a lot of protein that you're chewing on, yes. you know? And so that flavor goes away, the chew does not, right? But the flavor is good enough. And especially if you're eating that with a salad or with something mm -hmm. else, I mean, Flavor wise, I feel like that's a tier one, but overall, that's a tier two for me. Yes. It's tier one for me, I like it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like I everything also say about it. One with a salad, two by itself. Yeah. Mm, but those taste delicious. Yes. I mean, that's that's a crouton replacement yeah. yes. through and through. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Next, high low life, super cheesy, 
crispy oh, cheddar oh, cheese and almond right. snack mix, right? So yeah, this is a really, this is an easy choice right here. It is just cheese and almonds, so. I'm gonna make sure I get a mixture, which I did. Oh, lots of almonds. Yeah, okay. You want even more than that? I want you to take some more. Okay, I'll take, I'll take. Just, you just take a one and one, okay? Okay, here, you can have his one and one. All right, so proteins, no proteins, <laughs> almonds and cheddar bits. That's, yeah. I mean, that's just what this is. Okay, let's go. Cheddar bits. Mm. The almond is definitely mm. coated. Like, it gets the cheddar. This is not just salt. No, no like. Yes. The cheddar powder is on the almonds as well. I mean, this delicious. I concur. If I were to buy a savory snack, this would be one of them. Tier one, you know? Mm hmm. I would agree, tier one. Yeah. This that's a one for me as well. Yeah. I mean, that's just right. classic, right? Mm -hmm. It is a classic, good, savory snack. Mm -hmm. There you go. Mm. Now I'm surveying, surveying. Moving on to the sweets. Oh, Merry Christmas. Look, Merry Christmas, sweetie. Look what I got you. Mm -hmm. I just got you a regular Keto Crisp with almond butter. I did that for you. Oh. Are we going to down this hole? Are we going to down this hole? <sighs> you did none of that. This is all Keto Crisp mm. or Keto Crate. No. Okay, Keto Crisps are one of our favorites. Mm. This is just the regular almond butter, so mm -hmm. it's it's just like peanut buttery and brown and delicious. Yay. So me and mom are gonna have a small bite. Mm. We already know we love these. Oh and then Richard can have the rest one. of it. Okay. And you're so yeah. sweet. Yeah. The Keto Crisps, it's just really good, so. No, right, he's but he's bending back to preserve it. Okay. Putting it back in the case. Mm. All right, tier one. Yeah. Oh. Tier one. Yeah. Love I, the chew, love the crunch. No, yeah, like the the little crisp pellets or whatever, like it's very rice krispie treat esque. Mm hmm But then the creaminess, like once you chew, it's just like creamy, and then the flavor mm -hmm. oh, good. is the delicious. Amazing. Like, All tier one. Like, yeah. My favorite one of those is the almond butter uh, with chocolate chips, because like that's just how you how you take it up is with chocolate, but just okay. delicious. Tier one. I agree. Yes. Mm. Mm. Concur. Next, muck pack, yes. peanut butter, dark chocolate. Yay. Yeah. So we're just we're winning all around no, no, today. So are. this I'm is a great this is a great crate. Great crate. Hashtag great crate. So the thing I love about these, they're like kind of bars. So much texture. Mm -hmm. You can see the peanuts. You can see the pumpkin seeds. You can see the chocolate all drizzle. All the seeds. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. It's so salty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a positive it is. thing. That's a, that's a positive thing. All right, it's really good. Yeah. Cheer up. You need that you salt. You have food you like, start dancing. Mm hmm. Mm, that is just really good. Yeah. yeah. And the texture is just so good. Like I said, maybe it's because of the fibers or something, but I mean, just the texture is so mm. great. Mm. And just the, and the naturalness. The na yeah, I love it. The naturalness. Mm -hmm. When you say it like that, uh, drinking McGurk. No, you said naturalness. Okay. Because that's a real thing. No. Yeah. No, stop. <laughs> Both of you. Come on. Okay, next, we're, we're circling it back around to Shrewd Foods because they gave us the chocolate-covered Keto Dippers. Yay. And here, crazy, even better, they gave us two of them. Two of them? So, oh, Mom already gets one to take home. There's a question more about them. Yeah, right. uh, but yeah. we are... How nice are you, Shrewd Foods? Mm -hmm. Or do you have any uh, overstock? <laughs> See, look, <laughs> Keto Crate got these on a BOGO, too. <laughs> so they they yeah. just passed it along to us. I ain't mad at them. Okay, so mm -hmm. these are just like those chocolate pro or those protein puffs, like the the herb ones. Yes. But these are dipped in chocolate, so and let's go. Probably not seasoned with Italian seasoning. I know. Mm. I love it. What I like about these is that the chocolate coating affects the chew. Like spreads the chew out, you know, longer. Oh. It's not just like a, now you're just chewing on protein dust. Like the chocolate is still there, the the duration. Mmm. 
Oh, those two. Yep. Well, I mean, it's a tier two. It's not my favorite, but I really, really like it. My, okay. Yeah. 1.5. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. I would say tier two as well. Yeah, it, it's really good. Mm. Next, Keto Wise mm. Peanut Caramel Nougat. Have we ever had anything with nougat in it before? Uh, yeah. I don't know. So, like I said, we're going to look at this texture. It's going to be really good, probably. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, just look already. Just look yeah, at that. It's a turtle. Yeah, it looks like it's like a turtle, but it's not supposed to be it's supposed to be nougaty. Yeah. It's not supposed to be. Yeah, that's. I mean, that looks pretty nougaty here. You can have this one. Okay, so yeah, there's some texture. There's some pecans yeah, in there. Yeah, there's yeah. a nougat center, yeah. and then it's dipped in chocolate. Okay, let's go. All the above. Mmm. That's delicious. I know, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is happening? Why would you set it down if you We're need the rest of it? We're enjoying it. You don't need, keep it in your hand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me save my nougat. That's really good. I don't know if I remember specifically what nougat tastes like. You know, like mm -hmm. I'm thinking of a Three Musketeer, and it's nowhere near that marshmallowy. Oh, no, it's not that. You know, know. Milky Way type. Yeah, nugget. but it's so much of a, a it's zero thicker. Bar. Yeah, more like a zero bar. A zero but bar the nugget. flavor of that is delicious. Mm -hmm. mm, that's a tier one, maybe tier two and a half on ingredients, but flavor wise, really yes, tasty. I so I would agree completely. Mm -hmm. You know, that's very zero esque. Yeah, you're a zero esque. Okay, next, Ross Chocolates yeah. Dossier. Yeah. Right. Okay, so here's the thing, Richard. Dark chocolate with salted caramel. It's not a fruit flavor, Ross Chocolates Dossier. So I said the only thing that could be like, yeah, is that it's dark chocolate. Yeah. And, and, and like Ross Chocolate. Your fruits. Yeah, Ross Chocolates be really like, like serious when it's dark chocolate. Like, oh, that is dark chocolate, isn't it? But like still, I'm hoping that the salted caramel could do so. I thought ripping the top off of that would have Okay, I found it. I found it. Oh my gosh, look. For this to be a mini, I mean oh. that's a good that's a good size right there. Nice. Plus, it definitely smells like caramelly. I feel like you can smell the salt or something. That's just a yeah. piece of melted. Okay, it is. Yeah, chocolate. Okay, okay, let's go. Okay. Um, it's dark mm. chocolate. See, we're also trying to get you by putting stuff in the chocolate. It's not super sweet because it is dark chocolate, mm -hmm. but you can definitely taste the salt, mm -hmm. like the salted caramel. Okay. Mm, I mean, to me, that's a two and a half. If this was milk chocolate, oh. salted caramel, yeah. it would be a one, one, one. Yeah. This is just a little too bitter. But once again, if you like dark chocolate and salted caramel. I'm doing a 1.75. No, no, two, Christina, no. Give it no. A three. I've gotten away with the halves. Y'all cannot chop it up into any other yeah, fraction than that. that. Yeah. I mean, well, 1.5, you it's, like? It's too you bitter like it that, and it's not enough caramel. It's just a three I mean, could it be a teeny more sweeter, but it's other than that, it's, you can taste, like you said, you can taste the But a tinch sweeter is the whole point. Like, the bitterness overthrows everything for me. Yeah. That's all I'm tasting is bitter. Yeah. But I can kind of can smell the caramel though. I mean, you can was... smell the salt. I mean, it is, it accurately describes the flavors yes. that are in there. And that's the problem. I mean, Ross Chocolates Dossier ain't ever lied to us. If they say cherry chocolate, Yo, you taste both of them. If they say lemon chocolate, you taste both of them, right? I'm just trying to get some like sweet chocolate. Like, but, ooh. Two and a half. We're about to get it. Okay, exactly. We're about to get some sweet chocolate because finally, oh what we're enjoying is Chalk Zero. But see, here's the thing. Even Chalk Zero's dark chocolate is so sweet. Like all the, they know what the people want for real, okay? They want a sweet chocolate, right? Yes. Not only that, it's white chocolate. It's cookies yeah. and creme. Individual, individually wrapped. Yes. Yeah, individually wrapped. I mean, they know. They know what they're doing. Yeah, I mean, look at this. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'll break some of that. But look at the back of it though. Like it's it's a legit Hershey's cookies and cream. Well, you know, like it it's is very pretty. Yeah, here. 
Like, Even less. What is wrong with you? Okay. Because the savory part never lasts long enough. Okay. That's my favorite. Let's go. Let's try these sweets. Hmm. It's a Hershey's cookies and cream. Yeah. Definitely much better than the bitter chocolate from before. Mm -hmm. mm. Lord. Nothing bitter is bad, but needs a balance. The cookie bits. Mm -hmm. The creaminess of the white chocolate. This is definitely cookies and cream. Yeah. Everything she said. 100%. Tier one, tier zero. No. <laughs> It's so, it's even, mm -hmm. I like it even more than tier one. Right. Yeah, I would definitely give it a one. Mm. She would pay extra. Maybe one point. Five yeah, five. I would pay more. Mm. Oh my goodness. So good. Mm. Why no. are you so extra? Because this stuff is delicious. No, okay. Hey, I know it's dangerous, okay? If you can't self regulate, mm -mm. don't try it. Well, then I am taking this so you can self regulate. <laughs> He wants us to fight. <laughs> that's what happened. Mm. It's delicious. And that's the thing. Wait a minute. No, okay. I was going to say, what's the thing? Zero. Here's the Try thing. Zero. When you buy all of these things, you have to get them in cases and packs and boxes of five and six and things like that. Uh -huh. When you get them in the keto crate, it's just one of them, right? Like, one. that is why I love... Or a small pack that's yeah. like manageable. Exactly. That's why I love the Keto Crate is because it helps with that, right? Mm -hmm. So if you're swearing off snacks forever, good for you, right? You don't even need none of this, right? Yeah. But if you are the type of person that Keto will be more sustainable, mm -hmm. if you have random, an assortment of snacks mm -hmm. every once in a while, right? But you also might go overboard if you get too many at once, there you right? Go. That's why the Keto Creek is such a great yeah, option because it spaces it out, right? And and then it and all, like, it limits what you have. And it's like it's your snacks for the month. It's yes. a snacks for the month. That's legitimately what it is, right? Mm -hmm. And it keeps you from overdoing it on one thing, yeah. right? Because you just it's get nice so many different pack. things. Plus, it's always a mixture of sweet and savory. It is. You yeah. know? So it's not like you're just going to be eating a bunch of sweets the whole time. There and then once again, it introduces you to things that you might not have known, even known about, right? And so now, like I said, like these high low life, like the croutons, like things that now I could possibly go out of my way to buy if I know I want to incorporate those like into my diet on a certain week or something. I'm just saying like, mm. I'm a fan of the keto crate. Like that's all I am saying, but like, know? do you, it's up to you. Like there are no right or wrong, you know, there is no right or wrong way to keto. The only right or wrong way is the, the the way that's making you happy and that's finding success for you, right? Yeah. So with that being said, do you want to know who, like, I want to know who who won this? You're welcome. And do you yeah. know who that person is? Who is that? Mm. Merry Christmas. I don't know who Whose you is. Whose name is that? But boy, you, you, yeah. must, you must email me at watchautumnketo.gmail.com because I'll keep it. I'll keep all oh, of it, okay? Yes. You're lucky they shipped them directly from Keto Crate because if I had this extra crate in my possession, we wouldn't be doing a giveaway this oh month, right? Goodness. So send me an email. Let me know what you think. I'm so happy for you to receive this. But once again, if you did not win, you're still a winner because you can click the link in the description and get a BOGO. Get a BOGO. Get a BOGO. Man. Yeah. Hashtag a get a BOGO, right? Don't so, FOMO the BOGO. Nice. No. Okay. No. Oh, and see, she ruins it. So, okay. Right. We're, we're done. done. Yeah, we're done. So everyone, have a great year. Merry Christmas yes, from, Merry you Christmas know, us. From us. To, to your next week. Yeah, yeah, we look forward to seeing you uh, in 2023, seeing what the, what the Keto Crate has in store for us. So until then, bye. Bye, y'all. Oh gosh, that was crunchy. Okay. Oh, yes, it's very crunchy. Your mom's crunchy.